So now that we've done all of this DIY work, we're feeling a little peckish. Massimo Capra is here with the rest of the You are working with kiwis. But yes. It, it's sort of like, okay, what can you do with kiwi? And then you just went blah, 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 the, and came up with this recipe <laughs> that is so incredible. Tell them what it is. Well, it's like the stone soup of kiwi usage, right? Yes. I mean, I started out using kiwi and I love the golden kiwis and then I had green kiwis as well. I mean, obviously, we all know the green ones. Right. But we, I was asked, do something with the kiwi that is not the usual dessert. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, kiwi. I mean, to me, when you have kiwis, uh, high acidity. Uh, sugar, you know, beautifully soft, you know, it yes. reminds me of eating into a scallop, a raw scallop. Mm -hmm. So I started by getting some beautiful fresh raw scallops. And I said, you know, well, what can I do with that? I mean, kiwi normally you marinate things, it makes it soft, so, you know, you turn it into a ceviche type. Yes. You know, and then I said, but scallop only, I mean, white and green, I mean, I have to look something different. So I added a little bit of salmon, because mm -hmm. we are in Canada, we got to use salmon. Uh, we have some shrimp because there's a nice crunch to it. And then uh, I said, you know what, the kiwi, okay, we need a little jalapeno, we need a little onion, we need lime bite. juice, we need a little bite. So mm -hmm. uh, that's how we ended up with the seafood cocktail, uh, ceviche slash uh, seafood cocktail. I like it. And it's right absolutely Massimo's delicious. Right head and into that glass. Yeah, and, and you know what, I made some earlier to, and I ate the rest uh, already, so <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, uh, let, me, let me put this away from you. That's, but the, that's it, the marking of a good recipe, I, if you can't even show us because you ate it. I know. That's I'm good. so sorry. No, that's but we're right. going to make it again. Let's do How it. How about that? So we start out with our scallops. Mm -hmm. Very simple. Ceviche, you know, is raw fish marinated in lime juice, right? So right. we're going to start out with the scallop. We're going to do a nice amount of scallop. We're going to put the shrimp. And the shrimp, I actually pre blanched them a little bit. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want to have the, the shrimp completely raw. Um, most people uh, uh, will be able to eat them. But, you know, there's some people that, uh, you know, the, the raw shrimp is kind of a weird texture. Right. Okay. How about now, the salmon? Did you the do salmon, anything no, to that? I didn't do anything because if I. Blanch it, then it's gonna fall apart. It's gonna be like canned tuna. Yeah. Right. Which I'm gonna use after. Okay. Uh, anyway, so uh, we have a little bit of lime, and uh, we're just gonna use the zest. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just like that. Very simple. Boom, boom. And then the rest of the lime, forget it. We have already squeezed some. Lots and lots of lime juice. It's got to be covered. Yes. So Always let me, a good combination with fish. Oh, absolutely. Lime and uh, fish, uh, fantastic. So let's squeeze out as much lime as possible. Look at that. These are the juiciest limes oh, ever. Oh, that's so good. You know. Oh my God, that's so. Beautiful. Add your big, you know, your big punch of citrus. Exactly. But what I like is you have. Okay, are those green peppers? Those are jalapeno. Okay, because I know how you feel about green peppers. I'm like, are you using green peppers? You don't like green peppers, you do know you? What? No, it's not that I don't like it. It's just that they have a bitterness to them that uh, is really unpleasant. Okay. okay? So I think you hate them. <laughs> Yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> that's, and that's okay. Yeah, that's I'm not okay, huge yeah. fans of the green pepper either. Okay, but anyway, jalapeno, so I get. Jalapeno, because they're, they're sweet, you can actually eat them like that. When you remove the seeds and all that, there's not much heat to it. A little bit, but not crazy. Yeah. Then ceviche, onions. Onions. Yes. Lots of red onions. Beautiful red onions. Uh, not a problem. Add them liberally. A little bit of mango to just give a little Ooh, bit of that extra yeah. color. Then we have uh, our uh, tomatoes. Yeah, a little bit of tomato. Yeah, this is it's coming up, it's coming up, it's coming up. So, And then we have our kiwi. And put a lot of kiwi in it mm -hmm. because the texture is fantastic. It resembles the scallops. You mix it. Yeah. Okay, and uh, the kiwi will give you a little bit more acidity, a little sweetness, and uh, is absolutely beautiful. That now, looks amazing. we take a margarita glass. Yes. Frozen margarita, nice and big. We... Wet it with uh, lime juice, we yep. run it in our rimming uh, salt, and this one I found that is sriracha, rimming oh, salt. I mean, I can't believe it. it. Is. Yeah, and I saw sriracha also, uh, sorry, I have to fill it up. So we just uh, stuff it in it here. Up. What load a beautiful it in here. way to present this, though, if you have uh, people over. Oh. And it's the sort of thing you want to make fresh. Absolutely. And oh, you no, know, no, load yeah. it in. Sorry, yes. Don't make sorry it fresh. Sorry to interrupt you, but yeah. you know, the key in ceviche is about 20 minutes. 20 minutes. So most people, when they go to eat a ceviche in a serious place, what they do is they call up the chef and they say, okay, I'm coming in. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be there in 20 minutes. Yeah. Make me, the, make me the, the ceviche. How demanding is that? <laughs> yeah, I know. That's like precision. precision. It's the right thing to do, though, because it needs the 20 minutes to sort of cook in the, in the sauce. Yeah. That is a kiwi and seafood cocktail um, right out of the mine at Mr. Chef Massimo Capro. Go. Good job. Give him a hand, guys. That looks amazing.